Well, Outlander season three is coming. Yes. yes. So, what can you tell us? Any moments iconic from the books that we can look forward to? Well, the print shop, I think everyone, I mean, the reunion just in general, I think everyone's so excited about, and we are too, and, and turtle soup and uh, everything else, uh, I think. Is it turtle? Turtle are soup. Are you sure that's the kind of soup it is? It might be. <laughs> um, so I think, Maybe. you know, we're all so excited about the iconic moments in the book that the fans are, and um, I, think, I hope we've done them justice. So you've been filming in Scotland and South Africa. Yes. What are is South Africa doubling for Jamaica? Yes. And so how does how does the process of making one look like the other work? Um, it's not easy. I mean, it's not easy um, starting in one country and then halfway through the season going to a completely different country. Um, so that was a challenge in moving our entire crew over there. Not our entire crew. We only took a bit, but you know, our entire unit basically moving to our country. And um, it, we took over the black sail sets and uh, redid their ships and um, kind of used a lot of the environments in South Africa that obviously you couldn't do in Scotland because it doesn't look anything like Jamaica. Um, but we're so proud of uh, of the season and how it looks and it has a, such a different feel to it than the other seasons have that um, it's just, uh, I think we're just so excited about it. I mean, it's probably our best season excited. yet, I think. Oh, wow. Super excited. So, so much of Outlander rests on the character of Claire and just like her strengths and weaknesses. So for you both, what are your favorite aspects of Claire, both positive and negative? She's so ballsy. Um, yeah. I think she's so ballsy, and I think for me, what I, and Tony and I just talked about this the other day, I feel like very clear like in that I, it's very hard for me to hide my emotions. Like, um, I think you can easily tell what I'm thinking at any moment, which is very clear like. So that I really appreciate about her. Yeah. I mean, she's fearless. Uh, she loves deeply. Um, she has a great capacity for love. You know, I mean, she loved Frank. Uh, she loves Jamie with a different kind of love, but she's, she's you know, she takes care of her patients when she meets people, and she meets some, as you know, if you've read the book, there's some special characters uh, that she, she meets and feels very deeply about in a short amount of time. So she, fe she feels things that happen to her very deeply, and I think that's something the audience, uh, that resonates with them because they're living vicariously through her. It'd be, it'd be great if Claire didn't get in trouble quite so much. I feel like <laughs> she does start a little bit of a brawl everywhere. Every trouble seems to follow her. And she starts a couple of... a bit of a troublemaker. She makes some trouble, as you know. Yeah. She makes some trouble this yeah. season. Yeah. Um, but it's all for, for a good cause. Uh, her intentions are good. Exactly. No. My, my final question, as much as I love Claire and Jamie, uh, I have a very soft spot for Brianna and uh, Roger. So what can you tell us about their evolution? together and separately? Well, I mean, you know, we met them last season, obviously, and, um, you know, if you know the books at all, they will start to grow as characters, and uh, we'll see more of them, and uh, we're so pleased with Sophie and Richard and how they've started to portray Brianna and Roger, and, and really bring them to life, and um, and we're so excited to see them on this journey. Yeah, they all, we'll see them this season. Uh, I had the pleasure of writing an episode that contains them. I won't tell you which one, but it was a pleasure working with both of them, and they're both lovely people. I think they have great chemistry. I think we will see some um, forward movement with them this this season. I think there'll be some. You'll see some unexpected things that aren't in the book uh, for them this season. Um, and um, a one-man show. What else? Yeah. Are they, are they I, sexy? You know, I've talked to you about doing <laughs> that. No, I don't want to yeah, set that table. I, I made that mistake last year. Look, I was like, sex is coming, and then people got mad at me. So I don't think we want to go there. No. He's very sexy, cute. Uh, and she's very beautiful. And so, you know, sparks fly. That's what we'll say, sparks fly. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much.